Hello and welcome back to RX Garage. My name is Kai and this is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. In today's video I'm going to be changing out my spark plugs. Please note, I'm not a licensed mechanic or an engineer. I just want to share some information that I've learned and show how I take care of my truck. Spark plugs we'll be using are OEM. From Toyota. These are the Denso FK20 HBR8. These are pre gapped, so we won't be needing to adjust them. I have pre numbered the boxes as I'll be replacing the used spark plugs back into the boxes, and I'll be able to keep track of which one came out of where to make sure if there are any issues I can identify which cylinder it's on. We're going to start on the passenger side. We have coil number five over here. Coil number three is just underneath this bracket. And coil number one is easily accessible over there with the swivel socket. And then as we move over to the driver's side, we have a little bit more stuff to get out of the way. And the coil packs are hidden beneath all of those hoses and brackets. So what we're going to do is remove the bolts, the brackets at the top here, and then loosen them at the bottom. One bolt is over there and the other one is just over there and we can loosen those and then we'll be able to move the brackets over to the side and then these hoses will remove this hose over here and unclip these and we should be able to move everything to the side and access everything this little foam piece just under there that we'll also need to remove to be able to get access to coil number six. Okay, we're gonna start with coil pack number five. We're gonna start by removing the connector. I'm gonna use a little, little screwdriver to help out. And loosen it from the top in there. There we go. And then we'll use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the bolt. Take the bolt fully out. Okay. <clears throat> so we need to remove this bolt. Then we need to move this cable just slightly out of the way. Just unclip it. It's a little bit hard on both sides, but eventually we'll get it. And then we can pull out the coil. come with our spark plug socket Number five, insert it into our spark plug socket.
take off the cover and then reinstall it. <coughs> Reinstall the new spark plug. Start it loosely by hand to make sure it's threading in correctly. And then we can take our torque wrench, it's set to 13 foot-pounds. And we are set with the coil number five. Spark plug number five, sorry. And now we can reinstall our coil. Bring it all the way down. And reinstall the bolt, 10 millimeter. can reattach our plugs for the coil and this one up here all set now we can move on to the next one next we're going to be replacing spark plug number three we have this bracket that's covering the coil Use a 10 millimeter again to remove the bracket. Once we have the bolt removed, we need to loosen some of these plastic clips that hold some of the wires in place. And then we'll have enough access to get to number three over there. Okay, and then we do the same process again. We'll start with removing the 10 millimeter bolt. Pull out the coil. Again, nice and clean and dry. Set that aside. Come in with our spark plug socket. loosen the spark plug. Loosen it all the way. 
as you try and pull it out add a little resistance the magnet holding on this spark plug still in there or it will be loose and you can pull it out there we go this one looks well used as well but top is nice and clean Outside. Connect our new spark plug in. All good. And we can get that inserted and start threading it on by hand. And we can use our torque wrench. Tighten it to 13 foot pounds. go that's spark plug number three and coil number three Ooh. slide back on Install the bolt to hold the coil pack in place. Slide the bracket, turn this back over. And then before we reinstall all the, we can reconnect the plug for number three. And we'll wait, keep the harness loose until we get done with number one. To do this one, we're gonna open up the air intake just move it to the side a little bit so that we can have space to pull the coil out okay and then we move on to coil packs number one spark plug number one cylinder number one and again we start by loosening the bolt holding the coil pack in place bit by hand to make sure I don't lose the bolt into the engine bay. Remove the coil pack. Again, looks nice and clean. Come in with our spark plug socket and start the loosening spark plug. Spark 
plug from cylinder number one. Again, nice and clean. All in place, and we can torque it down. Then we can go ahead and reinstall the coil pack. Now all the core packs are back in place, we can start reattaching the bracket over here. Clips back in, reconnect the connectors to the coil pack. There we go. Put the air intake box back in place. Clip that on. And we are good with the passenger side. Clips are back on, coils are in the right place. All the brackets and connectors are reinstalled. And that's it for the passenger side. Now we can move on to the driver side. Yeah. So now we can do the driver side. I'm going to start by removing these two bolts up here and then going down underneath here and loosening the bolt there and the bolt there to be able to move those brackets side to side. I'll also be removing this hose clip here to pull this hose off and then I should be able to move the hoses around freely to be able to access where I need to get. There's also a piece of foam right of the coil, no, coil pack number six with the bolt at the top that needs to be removed so that that foam piece can come out. And these bolts are 12 millimeter sockets. Again, I'll start them with the wrench, but then I'll finish off my hand to make sure I don't pull them out and drop them into the engine bay. Okay. 
those guys loosened. And now I'll remove this hose from over here. can get out of the way. Now we're going to remove this nut to, so that it's not attached to this bracket. I'm going to remove this nut so it's not attached to this bracket that's holding the hard brake, brake lines. And just re reinstalling, temporarily putting the bolt at the top back in just to hold the bracket in place. some more space now there's a 10 millimeter bolt right there just above that foam piece we'll be taking that out to get not very hard but more difficult to get so be careful not to drop the bolt down into the engine bay and then this front piece can come out and this is what the bolt goes into and holds in place coil number one is over there number two is over here four is right here and six is in the back there so that's six that's four and that's the connector for number two. So now we can take these hoses off of the clip here. So we have some wiggle room to get them out. Additional wire clips in the way that just need to be loosened. It's just a few 
plastic brackets. And they're holding the wires in place. Okay. Sit down. We removed this clip over here that was just plugged in there. And we removed this connector over here. So now we can move the hoses and cables out of the way to be able to get the coil and the spark plug out. Now we've removed the connector from cylinder number two, spark plug coil. Now we'll use the 10 millimeter to remove the bolt that's holding the coil pack in place. Again, I'll start it with the wrench, but then finish it by hand to make sure you don't drop it. And there we go. We got that out. Now it's time to pull out the coil pack. We need to hold the hoses and wires out of the way. And then hopefully it will slide out smoothly. And there we go. Takes a little bit of finesse, but it will come out. So now, we get our spark plug socket back on. And pull the spark plug out in the same way. There we have it. Another one nice and clean. No blow by. spark plug in there. Again, we'll start it by hand and then use the torque wrench to make sure that it's Good and in place.
place. Insert the coil file. A little bit of finesse trying to get it past the wires and the hoses. But it'll go in there smoothly. <clears throat> and then we can take our bolt. Started in the hole again. There's a little bit of a wire harness in the way. But if you can start it by hand, it should be going in there smoothly and not be cross threading. Cylinder number two spark plug replaced. Okay, so now we can move on to cylinder number three. Sorry, cylinder number four coil, the one in the middle here. And this cable can move out of the way. This bracket moves down. We just need to remove this hose, pinch this clip together. Slide it down, and then this guy should come right off, and then that will be out of the way as well. Okay, and now we have cylinder number four. Connector disconnected. Now we can loosen the bolt that's holding on the coil pack. There we go. to get the to get the coil pack out and just hold some of these wires apart and then it should slide right out that way connector that's a bit in the way but if we twist the coil we can get around that and here we have our coil pack nice and clean and then we can follow the same way in to get out the spark plug from cylinder number four. Again, nice and clean, no blow-by. And we can go ahead and insert. 
Coil pack and go back in the way so we came out. We have to slightly twist it to get past one of the wires, and then once it's down, then we can twist it back into the right orientation. So that the bolt, so that the bolt lines up with its holes. Down, we are down to our last coil, our cylinder head number six. Right over there, these hoses move out of the way, so we should be able to get the coil pack straight out like that. So we'll start by listening. Try to connect the disconnect the connector before removing the bolt for the coil pack it makes it a little bit more sturdier and easier to get to. And then we can slide the coil out. There we go. Another clean coil. Get in there with our spark plug socket. And there we have it spark plug from cylinder number six. Clean, no blow by or anything. Good. Take our coil pack, slide it back in there. Bolt. All good. Go ahead 
and make sure we get all the plugs back in place. I'll start by making sure all the coils are in place and the connectors are on there correctly. All good. Reattach the hose that we took off here. Make sure we move the clip back up to hold it in place. Very nice. Let me connect the plugs down here. So I went ahead, put this bracket back on, put that cable back in, made sure all the spark plug coil pack connectors are on correctly, aren't loose. this hose back up and put the connector back on right here now I'm gonna get this hose reconnected over here and get the clips back on for these and then we'll go ahead and get the brackets reinstalled So now let's get the foam piece back under there and bolt it in place. All good, so we got the foam piece back in place. And that's all good. Everything underneath that is also back where it was. So now we can reattach the nut that we removed from the bracket. Yeah, the two brackets that were held together. Get that started by hand. And then and this was the 12 millimeter that we need for that. Start the one up here. Have some leverage to tighten against. Good, and then we'll go at the bottom and tighten those ones up as well. Oh, good. Now we will just double check, look at all the hoses that we can see, make sure everything is reconnected. Make sure we don't have any bolts. 
or clips or anything lying around. These hoses are connected back here into the clips. One of the white clips is at the bottom there. This one's back in place. These hoses here are all good. No issues. The brackets are tight, nicely in place. All the connectors are connected. Nothing's moving, nothing's loose. We're all good. So as everything is buttoned back up, we can have a look at the tools that we used for this job. Got a wrench, got a 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter socket, a little swivel tool to help get around some of the corners, a small screwdriver to be able to pry to help open some of the connectors. A long extension, this looks about 10 to 12 inches. Short extension for some other, if you want to extend it a bit more or some shorter distances that we need. Then we have the spark plug socket, which is also on the swivel to be able to get into the engine easily. Some needle nose pliers, torque wrench, the headlamp helps a lot to see when you're working, as well as a little flashlight to get in there. And here we can have a look at the spark plugs that came out. As I'm numbered on the boxes, but all of them look about the same. Pretty well used, but no blow by. The engine was still running perfectly, so. We'll be good to go for another 60,000 miles. That brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Get out there and explore, but don't forget to trade lightly. Cheers.